Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last year at York Hall with Joshua Frank and Joshua, congratulations. Um, yeah, you look really good and finished it in style. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you for that. Listen, I just said to you there, I'm not perfect yet. I'm still learning. I'm only a, a novice prospect. So um, no disrespect to my opponent. I respect every man that gets in that ring, but I should be getting men out there like that. Um, but an improvement from the last fight, and we roll on to the next. Yeah. Is it one of them where you can make a fight like that tricky? Because look, he came to survive. Yeah. And sometimes when fighters come to survive, it can make people look a bit shit, even yeah. if they're not. Yeah. So are them fights kind of, look, your level's above him, but are they hard to navigate in places? Yeah, because listen, like you said, they can make you look poor. So uh, it's just how you deal with them and, and, and how you get through with them. So, um, Picking this back up with Joshua Frank from the only time someone has walked through this room. It's when the interview started the whole night, yeah. Um, so yeah, we were just saying about them fights can be not, not tough to navigate because of you as a boxer, but kind of them opponents can make you look not very good at times. Yeah, they can make you look very scrappy and they just come to survive and it's just how you deal with them. And if you can get them out there, it's a bonus. So um, listen, I say it in every, every interview, if I'm improving each fight, that's a, that's a massive step for me. So um, we roll on to the next one and uh, hope to be out soon. You said to me when we was walking up here, you said, um, I'm a prospect, I'm always learning. What do you think you learned tonight? Listen, there's a few things. I'm never, never a perfect performance, like I said to you as well. So I've got to go back, watch it, and we go back to the gym next week and just work on the things that I think I didn't do well. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Like I said, I'm always learning. I'm only young, I'm only a prospect. We'll keep going on to the next. How important is it to keep your head when you know you've got someone hurt? Because when you had him hurt in the first round, I looked over to your corner immediately and they was just... Calm down, calm it, calm it, because you can't rush that sort of thing. So is it as well picking experience up, knowing that when you've got someone out, you need to just relax at times, don't you? That's why these fights are good, because you learn so much, you know what I mean? You learn how to deal with an opponent when you get them hurt, and that's why, um, that's why they're in there, you know what I mean? That's why we have them fights. So, um, like I said, I'm always learning. Another win, another stoppage. Keep going, keep the Frank and Marmy going. Yeah. I've got to ask about the Lightning McQueen shorts and the, what's going on there? Because a couple of us were looking at each other going, trying to work out explanations. Mate, what, what is going on there? Listen, first of all, I think Lightning McQueen's cool. <laughs> nah, that, he is, that is true, cool. that's true. Um, my niece, she loves him. Yeah. And she said, uh, can you have Lightning McQueen shorts? And I said, Gordon, no problem, I'll have them. So, um, yeah, catch out. <laughs> and there is a nice story behind it. We were just saying, does he like to film cars, isn't it? But there is a nice story behind it. It's pretty badass. Listen, you've got to agree. So, um, yeah, but that was from Anish, yeah. That's lovely. Quick one, I know you're going to have your eye on the Fury Dillian White undercard. You're going to have your eye on that, and are you going to be sort of putting little feeders out? Please, Frank. Please, Uncle Frank, <laughs> please. Listen, if I get on there, I'll get on there, but I don't think it's going to happen, but I'd love to. It's every fighter's dream to fight in the National Stadium, and especially under a fight of that calibre. So, um, if I don't get on there, Tyson's going to do the business. I'm sure I'd be there that night anyway. Um, yeah, so, uh, and then on, I'd like to see him retire after that, to be honest. Yeah, yeah definitely. You you think Tyson should retire? Yeah? After, yeah? Retire, get, rid, get out, there's nothing more to prove. Go out of the top. Yeah. All right, uh, one more thing actually on you. Um, first fight of 2021, what sort of, by the end of the year, what sort of position do you want to be in, perhaps starting to get ranked and looking for some domestic titles? By the end of next year, beginning the, beginning the next year, maybe try and go for some titles. Yeah. Um, step up to six rounds next. Listen, like I said, I'm learning. Each fight is a learning curve. So. It's a rushy sort of thing, isn't no, it? It's a rush. I'm only a baby in boxing terms. And um, we'll get there in the end, you know. Also, I'd like to thank every one of my sponsors. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to box. Um, Pilkington Estates, Terrace Colt, Well Hydrate, Mac Tech, Fuel Hub, um, Enterprise, Up Scaffolding, Gold Scaffolding, Mass Media. I've got so many. Turn around. Get them on there. Get them on there. Go on, I'll get these ones in as well. You have got a lot of sponsors, haven't you? Blimey. Without, without but but that's, that's what makes boxers work, isn't it? Without them, I wouldn't be able to fight. So thank you all so much. Big shout out to all the fans that come out tonight. The whole of Reading seemed like they was there tonight. Um, I've, been, I've been getting a, got a lot of support from Reading Town. You know, I'm all over the billboards. So um, thank you very much. That's all I can say. Keep supporting me. On to the next. Brilliant, top man. Thank you very much.